Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an entry-level travel trailer with a back bunk room that gives you high-end luxury features. This is the 2021 Forest River Salem Model 273 QBXL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at one of the best selling travel trailers, especially if somebody's looking to enter the, the RV game uh, for a first time. It's just really awesome and nice. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited to be back here in Ocala. Yes, uh, uh, your daughter, Alyssa, did a great job yesterday on the lacrosse yes she did a great job filling in for me you guys show her some love thank you yep absolutely <laughs> for those of you who don't know and andrea um what we're doing for the next 24 hours all our sticker sales to thank Alyssa, all the proceeds from the sticker sales one it's going to be buy one get one free two all that money's going to Alyssa for helping out so we appreciate her help also this is our third time making this video y'all with the stupid microphones uh that's that the microphones are dead and over and we're never using microphones again Model is 273 QBXL, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet 3 inches. The dry weight on this travel trailer is 6,196 pounds. And Andrea, the hitch weight? 680 pounds. Perfect. What I love about this travel trailer, again, Andrea, it's entry level, but there are so many high end features. First to start is this nice power tongue jack. None of that manual cranking, none of that stuff. You push the button and it'll automatically lift on and off your truck. Also, we do have a light right there so you can hitch and unhitch at nighttime. We do have your propane tanks up here. And then right here, we have a nice black diamond rock plug guard. Coming down the side here, you can see this button. This is for your power stabilizing jacks. You push the buttons and it will stabilize you. I love that. Again, high end feature. It is uh, prepped for solar right there if you wanna have a little portable solar panel. And then check out this storage. You can see it's nice pass-through storage. Also, the bed lifts up from inside so you can access your storage from the inside. And then there's your stabilizing jacks. Coming down the side, Andre, look at this nice huge power awning with LED lights. I absolutely love the Lipper component solid steps. It's real nice. You only see that on the higher end stuff. So again, I love how they put it on this product. You have your water heater right here. And Andrea, here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable. Did you see the outside Andrea, speakers? Andrea, Andrea. Oh. Potable. 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 Yes. Outdoor speakers right there as well. Fresh water drain. Yep. And then over here, here's the tires. Um, These tires, they're the D105-101L tires. They're the, they're the Castle Rock. Nice. Over here is a low point drain. And then right here, you do have some power on the outside. And check this out. We have wow. an outside kitchen. Nice it's, little fridge right here. Is that a grill? No, it's a skillet burner. Cool. Okay? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And then right here, if you want to have like a little outdoor shower rinse off area, you just plug that in right here. And then that's the other side for your stabilizing jacks. Cool. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire and spare tire carrier. I love that. Right here's where you hook up your city water. And then this is your black tank flush. And what that will do, that will help clean your black tank from any residue or sediment sticking to the side. Here's where you hook up your cable and satellite. And right up there, it is prepped for a backup camera. It's interesting that the hookups are in the back. Yeah, for sure. Coming around the side, 30 amp power cord. Okay, here's your cable. And then right there, I love that. Easy to get to, easy to access your black and gray tank dump right there. Finishing up, just the other side of your storage. Very nice. And it, the storage is held up by a magnet, a lot better than those plastic clips. Well, Andrea, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, 
but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh, Andrea. I feel that Doesn't breeze. Doesn't it feel so much yes. better? It's almost three o'clock. You know what that means? It's about to rain. Yes, and when the sun gets covered up by the clouds, oh. Mm -hmm. It feels good though. Check out this travel trailer. Okay. Ooh, it's hot in here. Interesting. I, I like the colors that they've done in here. Mm -hmm. The bunk room. Okay. And then that's the master bedroom. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Cool. Well, let's get started with that back bunk room, Andrea. That's really what makes this travel trailer. Oh my Can you God. Hold this for a second? Yeah. Andrea. Matt. It's hot. This is this is insane. Sorry guys, it's really hot in here. Okay. Sorry, this was a last minute video thing because the audio messed up on the first two. And um and so we don't have it plugged in, but we will have them plugged in next time. So getting started in this in the back bedroom area. So one, first, notice the lights aren't even on, right? Wow. There's no power. And the big windows in here really make it bright. I really like this bunk room because you have the bed over there. That sleeps one, two, three. This sleeps four. Okay, if you want to stand right here so I can close the door. So that's like a futon. Jack yeah. Knife so I love this because you could be sitting right here. The kids can be playing video games or whatever. It's not awkward. And then if you do need the additional sleeping area, you just jackknife this down. Okay. Boom. And they can sleep right there. So it sleeps four. Yep. Also. And we have a little cabinet, cabinet here. Yep. And as you can see, it is prepped for a TV over there and the USBs as well. Absolutely. Okay. Over here, uh, we're just kind of going this way as we see it. You got a little pantry right here. The Very nice storage. Okay. Check out these big windows. Again. There is no power on in this travel trailer, and it's still so bright, fresh, yes. and airy. And I love that dinette. The U-shaped dinette is phenomenal. It does drop down to make a bed for an adult-sized guest to sleep on. I gotta say, the balances are cute, you guys. Nice. And then check this oh. out. Oh. You get storage underneath there. You got the same thing wow. underneath here. Wow. That's nice. It is nice. Okay. Well, Andrea, it's... Oh, yep, let me get that. <laughs> Here's your sofa area. Again, you got your privacy blinds right there. I love how much natural light it's letting in. Your sofa is right here, and it does jackknife down to make another sleeping area. For such a lightweight travel trailer, it sleeps a lot. And here's your entertainment center. No TV, trying to keep the price point down. You can put whatever TV you want. You got your Furion sound system there, and then a Furion fireplace. You got a little bit of storage there. And Andrea, just a wow. little bit of storage there. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $32,463 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we don't have a sale price online because our sale price is so good that we're not allowed to advertise wow. it. But what we can do, down in the description below, I have links to General RV, so you can see our in-stock Salem 263s and our in-stock Wildwood our two, 273s. Um, and if you're interested in this travel trailer, all you gotta do is click get lowest price, sweat my eyes. Make sure you say you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews and somebody from my team will help you get what, Andrea? The best price. In America. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, look at this kitchen. I feel disgusting. Right, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, so guys, look but at this But you kitchen. look good because you're shiny. Oh, thanks. Uh, okay, so look, I love that there's a window here. Yes. Always nice. You got the blinds here, guys, uh -huh. the mini blinds. Look at the cabinetry. I like that. I you like the transparent show. look. Got a lot of counter space. Mm -hmm. Nice big double sink. Yes, ma'am. And under here, we do have a cabinet. For nice. the, oh, that's a good size for a trash can. Right. Got two drawers. Uh huh. And a microwave. microwave. With. We got a three burner cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And an oven. Burn, burn, burn. And let's see. Now nice compressor, compressor fridge. fridge. Look how big it is. I love yeah. that. Isn't that awesome? That's great. Very nice. Very good size and everything. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. Okie dokie. In the bathroom, 
You can see here, we do have a stand-in shower tub, okay? For travel trailers, most of the time when it's bunk houses, you'll have these tubs. For when the kids. Yep, when it's couples, you'll have the standing shower. We have a medicine cabinet right here. Mm -hmm. Your little sink here. And okay. a little bit of storage there. Got a fan up there. Yep, I'm Let's ready. check out that toilet. It's now time for the toilet test. Plastic, womp, 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 womp. Andrea. Yes. For everything that they cram in this travel trailer, this toilet really isn't a bad position. It's not that bad. But the problem is, it's plastic, so it doesn't get the four piece. But it was doable for the poobal. Great. Finishing up. Man, Andrea, we knock out these travel trailers a lot faster than the motorhomes, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. Finishing up with the bedroom, okay? Here's the bedroom, walk around bed. You do have storage on both sides, okay? I like the light colored walls in here. Yep, notice the little Oh, they got little there. cubbies. Yep, okay. Th that's gonna be good for like a CPAP machine or something. And this you is the queen size, isn't it? Yep, it does lift up. Right, that storage that was under. Okay, oh look, they give you little bins there, how nice. Little and bins. And you can see the storage there. Not only that, it is prepped for a TV and everything. Right here. Yep. All right. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Dang, we did all this in about 10 minutes. <laughs> I know, that is crazy. That's great. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay, I'm going to go first. First thing I like is this back bunk room. I like how multifunctional it is. I, I like the beds in this area. There's no slide outs in here. And what I really like is how this sofa jackknives to another sleeping area, but you have it so the kids can sit back here and play in here, not just be for sleeping. Okay. So that's one, two. Um, I really like the, the op okay, so the layout of this living room is great. A lot of times with bunk houses, a lot of the, most of the, you know what I'm saying, most of the space goes to the bunkhouse, so yes. you lose on your living area. Okay. Well, in here, you really didn't, because you get this big U-shaped dinette. I love the U-shaped dinette. you know, you still get the sofa, so it's like you still have a lot of living area, uh -huh. e even though you have a bunk room. Okay, so, so that's two. That's, that's, that's great. And then three, what I'm going to say, I love, I'm going to combo it. I love this nice big compressor fridge, and I love all the higher end features on a entry level travel trailer. Again, it's all about price point, but to give you a lot of these features, this, the power tongue jack, the electric stabilizing jack, just so many features while keeping the price down, I absolutely love that. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Andrea, now yes. it's time for three things we don't like about this travel trailer. Bum, bum, bum. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna kind of contradict something that you said. Okay. I do not like this living area. Okay. This sofa, you have to turn your head sideways yep. to watch the television. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. You know me. I like to look head on at the TV. Um, and that's just, I just would have preferred if the travel trailer was just a little bit longer uh, for us to kind of change okay. the format around. I got the last two. Oh, snap. Two? All right, real quick. Since we're in here, I like the interior colors of this travel trailer. I think the valances are cute. I like the color of the wall. No, we're on dislikes. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh my gosh. See what the heat's doing to me? Um, so I can't even <laughs> think straight. Okay. No, tell us what you don't like. Okay. What I don't like is lack of storage in here. Yes, I, I don't must agree. like that. When you have kids, you got to have some kind of room. Literally. And because very... of the outside kitchen, we lost the storage over here. Yep. I agree. The only so, storage is right there. Yeah. I 100% yes. agree. It's funny because I just contradicted you and you just contradicted <laughs> me kind of on that. So that's two. And then I got number three and it's outside. Oh, cool. Andrea, I've never been so excited to go outside. Me too. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, does that feel so much it better? It does. Okay. Number three, third and final dislike I, I have about this travel trailer is this right here. I personally don't like this skillet burner, okay? I would have preferred if this was a slide out sink and then you just put a, a grill on the bumper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, you know, with this, you don't really get a sink. You just get that little hose hookup thingy. 
But, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell. Or you can check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV review sticker. Bing! Again, we are doing buy one, get one free for the next 24 hours. And all the money goes to uh, Alyssa, Andrea's daughter, for helping me out with yesterday's video. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes! Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this travel trailer and the three things that you dislike. Forest River does read the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. If you haven't gotten a chance to get one of our keychains, keychains, <laughs> bing, make sure you get one of those. They'll only be available till the end of September. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are safe. Thanks. Awesome. Great, thanks. And one final thing. Again, if you want pricing and information, links down in the description below. You will see all the Salem's and Wildwoods 273s that we have in stock. Make sure you go to generalrfe.com, click get lowest price, and one of my team members will be able to help you and get you the absolute best price. Andrea, just make sure you tell them. You saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.